Imagine a world ruled by giants, a world where the very ground trembled beneath the weight of colossal creatures, and the air was filled with the sounds of their mighty roars and the rustling of ancient forests. Not just any giants, but colossal creatures that shook the ground with every step. These were beings of such immense size and power that their presence alone could alter the landscape. These were the sauropods, a group of dinosaurs that included the largest animals to ever walk the earth. Their sheer size and strength were unparalleled, making them the true titans of the prehistoric world. They were true behemoths, with long necks that reached towering heights, allowing them to access food sources that were out of reach for other creatures. Their necks were not just long but incredibly flexible, enabling them to graze over vast areas without moving their massive bodies. Massive bodies that could dwarf an elephant, making even the largest modern-day animals seem small in comparison. Their size was a testament to the evolutionary marvels of the Mesozoic era, and pillar-like legs that supported their incredible weight. These legs were like living columns, strong and sturdy, capable of bearing the immense bulk of these giants as they roamed the ancient landscapes. Their tails, equally long and powerful, could whip through the air with the force of a wrecking ball. These tails were not just for balance but also served as formidable weapons against predators. Despite their imposing size, sauropods were gentle giants, content to graze on leaves and ferns in their prehistoric world. They moved slowly and deliberately, their massive bodies swaying with each step as they fed on the lush vegetation that surrounded them. These magnificent creatures however did not appear overnight. Their existence was the result of millions of years of evolution, a gradual process that saw them transform from small, unremarkable ancestors into the giants we know today. Like all species they evolved over millions of years from smaller, less specialized ancestors. These early dinosaurs were modest in size and appearance, but they carried the genetic potential for greatness. The story of their evolution is a fascinating tale, one that takes us back to the Triassic period over 200 million years ago. It was a time of dramatic change where the first dinosaurs began to emerge and diversify. It is a story that is still being written with each new fossil discovery adding another piece to the puzzle. Paleontologists work tirelessly to uncover these ancient secrets, piecing together the lives of creatures that once roamed the earth. The discovery of a new sauropod ancestor, Avaitum banduivechi, has shed light on this evolutionary journey, providing valuable clues about the origins of these giants. This find is a significant milestone in our understanding of sauropod evolution. This remarkable fossil, unearthed in Wyoming, takes us back to a time when sauropods were just beginning their incredible journey to dominance. It offers a glimpse into the early stages of their development, showing us how these creatures adapted and thrived in their environment. It is a story of humble beginnings of small creatures evolving over eons into the titans of the Mesozoic era. From these modest origins, the sauropods rose to become the undisputed giants of their time, leaving an indelible mark on the history of life on Earth. In the realm of paleontology, new discoveries have the power to rewrite the history of life on Earth. Each fossil unearthed is like a page from a long-lost book, offering new insights and sparking fresh debates among scientists. These ancient remnants hold the secrets of our planet's distant past, and with every new find we inch closer to understanding the complex web of life that has evolved over millions of years. The recent unearthing of Avaitum banduivechi, a diminutive sauropod ancestor, has sent ripples of excitement through the scientific community. This discovery is not just another addition to the fossil record, it represents a significant piece of the puzzle in the story of dinosaur evolution. The meticulous work of paleontologists has brought to light a creature that lived in a time when the Earth was a very different place, teeming with life forms that have long since vanished. This remarkable fossil, hailing from the late Triassic period, offers an unprecedented glimpse into the early evolution of sauropods, those iconic giants that once roamed the planet. The late Triassic was a period of significant change, marked by the emergence of many new species and the gradual shift in the Earth's climate and geography. Avitum banduavechi stands as a testament to the adaptability and resilience of life during this dynamic era. Avitum banduavechi, meaning ancient dweller of the Bandu region in the language of the Eastern Shoshone, was discovered in the Popo Aji Formation of Wyoming. This region, known for its rich geological history, has been a focal point for paleontologists seeking to uncover the secrets of the past. 
The name itself reflects the deep connection between the land and its ancient inhabitants, bridging the gap between modern science and indigenous knowledge. This geological formation renowned for its rich fossil beds has yielded a treasure trove of prehistoric creatures, painting a vivid picture of life during the Triassic. The Popoaji Formation is a window into a world that existed over 200 million years ago, offering a unique opportunity to study the flora and fauna of that time. Each fossil discovered here adds a new chapter to the story of life on Earth, helping scientists piece together the complex puzzle of our planet's history. The discovery of Avetum in this region is particularly significant, as it suggests that sauropods may have originated in North America, a finding that challenges previous theories about their evolutionary origins. This revelation has sparked a renewed interest in the study of early sauropods, prompting scientists to re-examine existing fossils and search for new evidence that could further illuminate the origins of these magnificent creatures. This newfound ancestor, estimated to have lived around 230 million years ago, was a far cry from its colossal descendants. Despite its small size, Avaitum Banduivechi played a crucial role in the evolutionary lineage of sauropods. Its discovery provides valuable insights into the early stages of sauropod development, shedding light on the adaptations and changes that occurred over millions of years, leading to the emergence of the giant dinosaurs that would later dominate the landscape. Unlike the towering sauropods that would later grace the Earth, Avaitum was a relatively small creature, measuring about three feet long from snout to tail. Its modest size, however, does not diminish its importance in the grand scheme of dinosaur evolution. By studying Avedum, scientists can gain a better understanding of the physical and behavioral traits that were passed down through generations, ultimately leading to the development of the massive, long-necked sauropods that are so well known today. Its size, however, belies its evolutionary importance, as it bridges a crucial gap in our understanding of how sauropods transitioned from small bipedal ancestors to the massive quadrupedal giants that we know today. This transition is a key area of interest for paleontologists, as it provides insights into the evolutionary pressures and environmental factors that shaped the development of these incredible creatures. The story of Avaitum Banduiveche is a reminder of the intricate and fascinating history of life on Earth, a history that continues to unfold with each new discovery. Avaitum, despite its diminutive stature, possessed a suite of characteristics that hinted at its future evolutionary trajectory. This small dinosaur, often overlooked due to its size, played a crucial role in the grand tapestry of prehistoric life. Its unique features provide a window into the past, allowing us to understand the evolutionary steps that led to the rise of the giant sauropods. Its teeth, for instance, were adapted for stripping leaves from branches, suggesting a herbivorous diet similar to its giant descendants. These teeth were not just tools for eating but were also indicators of the dietary habits that would shape the evolution of future species. The structure and wear patterns on these teeth reveal a diet rich in fibrous plant material, which required specialized adaptations to process efficiently. This dietary preference coupled with its long neck and tail provided the foundation for the evolution of the enormous herbivores that would later dominate terrestrial ecosystems. The long neck allowed Avetum to reach high into the trees, accessing food sources that were out of reach for other herbivores. This advantage not only ensured its survival but also set the stage for the development of even longer necks in its descendants. Its limbs, though not as robust as those of its later relatives, exhibited features indicative of a shift towards a more quadrupedal stance. This shift was a significant evolutionary step as it allowed for better weight distribution and stability. The changes in limb structure suggest that Avetum was beginning to adapt to a lifestyle that required more support and balance, paving the way for the massive weight-bearing limbs of future sauropods. The forelimbs in particular displayed adaptations for weight-bearing, suggesting that Avaitum may have occasionally walked on all fours. This occasional quadrupedal movement was likely a precursor to the fully quadrupedal gait seen in later sauropods. The gradual strengthening and adaptation of these limbs were crucial for supporting the massive bodies of future giants. This transitional phase in locomotion is a testament to the gradual evolution of these creatures, highlighting the incremental changes that eventually gave rise to the iconic quadrupedal posture of sauropods. Each small adaptation, each minor change in limb structure and function, 
contributed to the overall evolutionary success of these magnificent creatures. The story of Avaitum is a story of gradual but relentless progress, leading to the giants that would one day roam the earth. Furthermore, the discovery of Avaitum sheds light on the ecological context in which sauropods evolved. The fossil record provides invaluable insights into the environment and conditions that shape the evolution of these dinosaurs. By studying Avaitum, paleontologists can piece together the puzzle of how sauropods adapted to their surroundings and thrive. The late Triassic was a time of significant environmental change, marked by a warming climate and the emergence of new plant life. These changes created a dynamic and challenging environment, forcing herbivores like Avitum to adapt or perish. The warming climate and the spread of new plant species provided both opportunities and challenges, driving the evolutionary innovations that would lead to the rise of the sauropods. These changes created new opportunities for herbivores, and sauropods with their evolving adaptations were poised to capitalize on this ecological shift. The ability to exploit new food sources and adapt to changing conditions was key to their success. Avaitum, with its unique adaptations, was at the forefront of this evolutionary wave, setting the stage for the giants that would follow. The story of Avaitum is a reminder of the power of evolution and the incredible journey of life on Earth. To fully appreciate the significance of Avaitum, we must embark on a journey back in time, to the late Triassic period, over 200 million years ago. During this pivotal era in Earth's history, the supercontinent Pangaea was beginning to break apart, its land masses slowly drifting towards their present-day positions. The climate was generally warm and humid, with vast forests covering much of the land. Conifers, ferns, and cycads flourished, providing ample sustenance for the burgeoning population of herbivorous dinosaurs. This was a time of great evolutionary experimentation, as different groups of dinosaurs diversified and evolved to exploit the variety of ecological niches available to them. It was against this backdrop of environmental change and evolutionary innovation that Avaitum and its kin took their first steps towards becoming the giants we know today. Their small size and bipedal stance allowed them to navigate the dense undergrowth of the Triassic forest, while their evolving herbivorous diet provided them with the energy they needed to thrive in this new world.